Hey Mavericks fans, this is Catching Up With Coach presented by CCR Roofing. Oh, put me in coach, I'm ready to play. So as of right now, we've announced 14 players that we've signed. So we're going to play a little game, and at the end our fans will get something a little bit special because we're actually going to do two new player announcements. Um, but if I'm going to hold up a picture of the player, and then you're going to give us a little quip about what makes that player a special addition to the Mavericks. All right, sounds, sounds good? good. Yeah. Okay. First up, Dax Flowers. Dax is a, a big kid, uh, hits real hard, um, will do anything to stand up for his teammates. Uh, I've heard everything but great, great leadership by him. He's a young kid coming in, and uh, like I said, he likes to drop the gloves and have some fun. Liam Stewart. Liam is a kid coming out of junior hockey, uh, scored 23 goals last year in major junior, uh, played for the Spokane Chiefs, and uh, you know, that's one of the kids that I did a lot of homework on uh, with Bridgeport. Um, our upside with him is uh, he's young and energetic and can't wait to get him in here. Patch well, Elber. I think, I think Patch <laughs> kind of speaks for himself. Uh, Patch is a guy that uh, if we had 20 Patches, I think we'd be all right. He puts, uh, he puts his heart on the shoulder every time he gets on the ice, and he's probably, you know, he's probably my favorite player last year, knowing he'll do whatever it takes to win. Patrick Cullody. Patrick's a defenseman that uh, brings a whole bunch of leadership to us. Uh, another guy that uh, spending a lot of time with Bridgeport, uh, Brent Thompson has had him in the past, and uh, he's a defensive defenseman that uh, kind of controls the, his own end by, by the way he acts and the way he responds, and he's a real good skater. Rocco Carzo. Well, he's, uh, he's an offensive gifted guy. Uh, last year in Ontario, we all know they went to the semifinals and lost out to Allen. Uh, Rock is a guy that's put up some serious points in this league, I think on average about 48 to 54 points a year, and uh, you know we're excited to get him in here to score some goals. Tanner Fritz. Tanner had a real good uh, college career. Uh, he's a, he was the captain over there in his college team, and we can't wait to get him here. He brings a whole bunch of leadership, knowing that uh, if you're a captain of a, a major college, that you're doing something right. Tristan King. Tristan King is, uh, I guess, for, for hockey king people, he's a guy that dishes the puck. Uh, he's going to have a whole bunch of people to dish the puck to, as we have Andrew Courtney and guys like that that can shoot the puck. And, you know, Tristan's one of those guys that's going to go in the corners, get it, and uh, get the guys in the puck in front of that. Josh Robinson. You know, Josh came back from overseas last year, and, uh, you know, I think the first thing you can ask Josh is if he was happy with his play, and he'd say no. And, you know, when we had our year-end meeting, he... Uh, he really bit the bullet and took a lot of the blame and as much as I did almost at times. And uh, for me to get that quality of player back in here, Josh is going to be probably a really good goaltender for us. Chris Owens. Chris, you know, I think he only played 12 games with us last year. I think he had five goals and seven assists. And so if you can have 12, 12 points in 12 games coming out of a, you know, a major college in Canada, we're excited for him. Wes Cunningham. Wes is a guy that's played, uh, you know, he was in Bakersfield. He went overseas for, for a year, but uh, decided he wanted to come back to North American grounds. Uh, another guy that uh, plays with his heart on his shoulder. He, uh, he's willing to go to bat for anything with his team. Uh, he competes really hard. He's almost, uh, you know, I'm going to compare him, I, I guess, right now with not seeing him play. Would, he's going to be another patch helper for us. John Schiavo. Well, I think if anybody goes on YouTube, they all know who John Schiavo is. And I, I don't know if John keeps posting his own clips. We'll have to talk about that a little bit. But, uh, you know, I got to meet him there at rookie camp in, in New York. Uh, he's a very skilled individual. Um, you know, once we get with him and get on his skating a little bit, that I think his skill, his skill set speaks for itself. And it's just a matter if we can get him the space to put the puck in the net, he'll be all right. Andrew Courtney. Well, I think Court speaks for himself. If I... If I got to go here and talk about who Andrew Courtney is, then uh, you know I'm going to have some issues with the Orange Army. But uh, you know Andrew's been a proven leader for us. Uh, you know in the last two years he just makes incredible strides and keeps breaking uh, you know his goals, his goal record each and every year. So I think last year he was at 36. So you know if we can get him to 45 or something like that, it'll be a great addition again. Donick Paquette. I'm going to go on the limb and say if Danik shows up and plays the way that I've, I've seen him play and heard the way he plays, that he's going to be a fan favorite. Uh, again, Danik's one of those guys that not only does he have the skill set that he can score 20 goals in this league, but uh, he also has the toughness that uh, he will be one of the toughest guys in the league. And, you know, he plays with that little bit of an edge that a coach loves to have. And, you know, sometimes the ECHL doesn't like that, but that's okay. All right, and last up, we've got David DeCastroza. You know, everybody I've talked to about David, he's a, he's a veteran in this league that's played many games. He's averaging basically 19 goals a year. Um, it doesn't matter if I've talked to coaches or ex-players or guys that have played with him that uh, he is a proven leader. He is a great penalty killer, and, you know, he's going to be a great addition to us on the right side. Great. And now, as promised for our fans, we've got two new additions to the team, and the first step will be... 
Scott Allen. Scott Allen's coming out of uh, Major Junior up in Alaska, or Major College, sorry, up in Alaska. Uh, I spoke with his coach at length, and, you know, he's got an NHL shot. Uh, he's been working out really great. He's, he's been improving in every day, so I can't wait to get him in here. He's a, he's a 6'3", 240-pound winger that, uh, at this level, I think he's going to succeed. Awesome. And then we've also got Andrew Johnston. Andrew is a player that played last year in the American League and then also some down in Reading. Um, they tell me that he's got speed like Lindsey Sparks and that can shoot the puck with an NHL guy, so it's going to be great to get him in here. Great. Well, hopefully that was exciting for our fans.